it's time to get real. It's time to get very, very real. Fulham are in a relegation battle. Simple as that. I know that we're six points off the relegation zone, but these performances just aren't good enough, mate. I'm repeating myself by saying this, but there is no desire. There is no heart. There is zero fight in this Fulham team, and it's difficult to watch. I feel sorry for every single fan that has gone to Villa Park today. How long can this dreadful form, how long can these pathetic results go on for? Big money needs to be spent in January. We needed to spend that in the summer, and we didn't. Tony Khan. I'm looking at you once again. What is the point? Strikers, defenders, we need them all right now. Congratulations to Raul Jimenez for getting off the mark. Fantastic. But where were you before that goal? Where is everyone? This is such a pathetic showing every every other weekend, every weekend, whatever it is. I'm lost. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. The difference between this team and last season is scary. It really is. We're so lucky that there's potentially three worse teams than us this season. We are nailed on to finish 16th, 17th. No progression. Fantastic. Well done, lads. Well done, Tony Khan. Well done to the board. I actually don't really blame Marco Silva, to be honest with you. There's only one person or peoples, peoples, that I can throw shade at. It's not really shade. It's just just abuse. I'd love for abuse at all of them. If I saw him in public, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I would say something. I wouldn't be like, oh, Tony, Tony, sign my program. Tony, Tony. I'd quiz him straight up. I'm not afraid of that little freak. I'm not afraid of any of the board members, to be honest with you, mate. They're all useless, and we've made no progression whatsoever. Aston Villa, credit to them. They're fantastic. What Unai Emery has cooked at Villa Park is sensational, and they deserve all of the success. A team as big as Aston Villa deserves all of the success. Right, the goals then. Let's go all through. Let's go through all four goals, shall we? Right, Villa... First goal completely dominated the midfield. Tielemans was able to drag Bassi out almost into a uh, right-back roll. The bloke is completely out of his depth. Ball goes in. Tim Ream can't really deal with it. Robinson puts the ball into his own net. Fantastic. Leno, in my opinion, could have done more. And I don't really like to slam Bert Leno because he's always consistently one of our best players, if not the, apart from Joao Plina, our best player. Anthony Robinson, second own goal this season. Sound brilliant. It's always one way or the other with that guy. One way or the other. He's, he's, he's not consistent enough. How long until we bring Balatore in? How scary is this as well? Anthony Robinson has scored the same amount of own goals as he has other goals. Well, goals into... What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? He has scored the same amount of own goals as he has scored actual goals for Fulham. Two this season, and he scored two for Fulham against other teams. Absolutely fantastic. Goal number two, absolutely disastrous. I'm lost for words, to be honest with you. Villa were toying with us. Couldn't clear the ball yet again. Luca Dean lays it off to John McGinn, who skips past Joao Polina like he wasn't even there, like he wasn't even one of the best centre defensive midfielders on planet Earth and slots it past Burnt Leno. John McGinn had a fantastic game. He was absolutely everywhere. He was just like a terrier, like a terrier, just chopping at your ankles, nibbling at your ankles. We couldn't stop him. Fulham, just clear the ball, man. Clear the ball. How hard is it to clear a ball? We've seen it so much over the last couple of weeks. We can't clear a ball. Clear it. Smash it. Do a bias call kick to get, get rid of it. Don't head it into no man's land, into the midfield where there's no one to cover it, and they can just pick up and then just go again. Start a simple counter-attack. Goal number three, then Anthony Robinson. It gets better and better and better. Breaks through, off the Fulham corner, headed out, slips over. Slips over. On the floor, on the deck. Villa break. We literally have no one back whatsoever. No one can get the ball off John McGinn. There's like three or four players around him. No one can get it off of him. Lays it off to Leon Bailey. Puts it into the mixer. Ollie Watkins scores. I'm done. 
I am fully done. This team is incompetent and needs to really buck up their ideas, in my opinion, pals. All right, and then the only Fulham goal of the game, Raul Jimenez scored. Yay! Fulham explo exploited, exploited the Aston Villa high line. Ball came over to Robinson, plays it across. Oh, my God, Robinson got an assist. After all of that, that is pure resilience, isn't it? Pure resilience. What heart. What brilliant heart this guy has. Sweaty goal. Raul Jimenez scores. First goal in 18 goddamn months. I wish it was a better time for him to score, to be honest with you, when you're already, what, 3-0 down? <laughs> eee, sound, sound. Yeah, sound, 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 sound. Right, some of the stinkers then. Uh, why do we keep turning up in the second half rather than doing it for a full 90 like we did last season? Eh? Why is that? Why? Why do we start Andreas Pereira? He was actually all right today. He was actually all right. But for more stability in that midfield, we knew how tough it was going to be at Villa Park. Play the old partnership of Paulinia and Reed, and put Alex Iwobi in at a number 10 role. We knew it was going to be tough and it was just pure ignorance from us to go there thinking that we could play some attacking style of football. It was never going to happen. How Pereira is still getting starts, I think he's been dreadful this season. How he's still starting is scandalous and question marks need to be asked about it because it's a joke, mate. It's actually a joke. Joao Polina, man, I love the bloke. I love him. He's only been here for, what, like 18 months and he's a Fulham legend. Simple as that. But... I cannot for the life of me understand why he didn't get pulled at half time. He made some quite dodgy tackles in the first half, not dodgy in the sense of like a red card, but yellow card offences. And what did we know before this game? If Joao Plina picks up a yellow card, he will be out for Wolves. And what happens? Into the second half, early second half, Joao Plina gets a yellow card. He doesn't help himself. He doesn't help himself at all. But Marco Silva just needs to use his brain. Marco Silva is a very intelligent football manager. But come on, mate. Pull him at half time. We're 2-0 down. I know this team's not going to get back into it. You know this team's not going to get back into it. Simple as that. We would need a miracle. A miracle. Bring on. Bring on Harrison Reed. Bring on Tom Kearney as well. Eh. Simple stuff. Maybe I should be the fuller manager. That, 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 that's why I work in the media and not in football management, all right? We got let off in the opening five minutes, in my opinion, as well. DRB, instant attack from Aston Villa. Fulham shaking at the back. Ball gets squared to him. Unmarked. Tons. Acres. Loads. Fields of space. How's no one monitoring him? How's no one got eyes on him? You cannot allow these players, these attackers... So much space in the box. This, this is just simple. This is just simple mechanics of football. Well done to Bern Leno for stopping it and getting us out of danger. Some all right breaks in the first half. Uh, I'm actually done. Andres Pereira. Good break in the first half. Ball gets rolled out to him. Gets it on target. I know it was offside. And just put your bloody laces for it, son. Charge that right foot up and go for it. Villa had a mega, mega, mega high line and we can't exploit it. There is no real connection, no synergy with all of these players. Robinson and Willian can't link up. We are so wasteful as well. How many shots do we have outside the box? Just pointless shots. Just because no one can create. We have to rely on Willian cutting in from, from the left-hand side to try and score a beauty at Villa Park. I asked this question as well. I don't really, I, I do like to slam players. I, I really enjoy it. Calvin Bassey, is he actually Premier League standard? Bloke looks out of his depth, to be honest with you, mate. At muscled by John McGinn. Which meant he could run into the box. Out muscled by John McGinn. I know that John McGinn is a fierce competitor, but come on. Squares the ball to Ollie Watkins and he should have scored. Open goal. You're getting out-muscled by John McGinn, Calvin Bassey. It's pathetic. I'm actually done with it, man. Not a good performance by him. Not a good performance by Tim Ream, whose age is really showing right now, by the way. It's really showing. Right, some of the strong moments, and if there are any for Fulham. Looks brighter going into the second half, but nothing to sing about. The introduction of Harry Wilson definitely helped. Maybe now it is time to start him. 
Bobby De Cordova Reed has been average over the last couple of game weeks. Carlos Vinicius, unlucky for his goal not to stand due to offside. Good ball for my Wobi, but that is us yet again exploiting the high line. Why does it take us about 65 minutes to try and find holes in other teams' defensive patterns? They started with a high line for the whole game. They did it for 90 minutes. Fair play, Unai Emery. Fair play. Yuri Tielemans, solid game for Villa as well. Couldn't cope with him. John McGinn, class. Pal Torres kept us quiet. Esri Konza as well. Need I say any more? Apart from, thanks for watching. International break now, mate. Uh, Wolves coming up in a couple of weeks. Joel Polina is obviously going to be out. And we will have... I'm going to start doing uh, previews to games as well. Because I think you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you, girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, big wake-up call. January, need some sign-ins. Get your checkbook out, Tony Khan, because we are in dire, dire, Eric dire need. Please remember to like and subscribe just down below on this miserable Sunday afternoon, the 12th of November, 2023.